What would you do if you had three quarters of a million bucks? Fashion designer and entrepreneur Mark Echo used some of his fortune to buy Barry Bonds' record-breaking 756th home run ball for $752,000. Of course, some people say it's a tainted record because they suspect that Bonds used steroids. So over the past week and a half, Mark let America vote on what should happen to the ball. And this morning in a Today exclusive, he is here to reveal America's decision. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Any chance you've decided to just keep it? No, that was not one of the options. Ten million votes in, and uh, you know the people obviously... Uh, just their impassioned response tells us that baseball is alive and well. well. Over the past couple of days, you've been re referred to as everything from stupid and an idiot by Barry Bond. You've been called a copycat and a publicity hound by some sports writers, a genius by other people. Right. Did the response surprise you at all? Uh, not really. Uh, you know, I've been called worse, you know, for sure. This, to me, was about this great public discourse and this call and response between the spectator and the player is something that defines some of the greatest moments in sports okay, history. Okay, so 10 million Americans voted. Here were their choices. Bestow it, brand it, or banish it. Yes. And we have the envelope. The envelope the is results. here. The envelope is here. Drum roll. Okay, let's see what we I'll got. Give you a drum. 10 million votes. They really have the drum roll. Absolutely. <laughs> it's amazing. At a moment's notice. Uh, we're going to have to find a different artifact to send up to space, Matt. Ah, okay. okay. The Banish It vote was at 19%, and 80% of America total want this ball on this earth, and it will go to Cooperstown Hall of Fame with the brand at 47%. 47%? Ah, brand it. Say brand it, so put yeah. some kind of an asterisk on yep, it? Yep, this ball will be branded with an asterisk. How are you going to do yeah, that? An actual brand or, or what? Yeah. Well, you know, we're going to be working with the folks at the Hall of Fame. This is the, you know, it's a historical museum. We want to treat this uh, ball as, a, as such, as an yeah. artifact Some of respect. Uh, Dale yeah. Petrosky actually is the president of the Hall of Fame. He joins us now from Dallas real quickly. Like, Dale, are you happy to get this in your possession and do you worry about the brand? You bet we're happy to get it. You know, Matt, we're a nonprofit history museum and every one of the 35,000 items we have has been donated to us and so this ball wouldn't be coming to Cooperstown without Mark Echo buying it from the fan who caught it uh, and then putting it up for a vote of the fans and uh, now 80 percent have voted to send it to Cooperstown. Right, 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 but real quickly though, by accepting fans. it with the brand, that. do you think in some way the hall endorses the idea that Barry Bonds used steroids? No, I think, I think uh, what this is is a, an intersection of a couple of very deeply held American values. First of all, uh, innocent and less proven guilty, you know, and the other one is fair play. People want to know that this record was gotten uh, on a level playing field. All right, yeah. Dale, congratulations on your new exhibit. When Thanks, are you going to give it over real it quick? Uh, I'm sorry? When are you going to give it to him? Uh, we will keep people posted. It's going to be coming soon. All right, Working Mark with Echo. the folks over at the hall. Thanks very much. Thanks for having nice me, guys. We're Cheers. back after your local news.